Welcome everyone to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Bill Spicer. On this week's show, we're in beautiful Northwestern Ontario, visiting Nielsen's Fly-In Lodge on Rowan Lake. I have a very special guest co-host this week, Brad Bowen, one of Wisconsin's top guides. We're going after bass, both smallmouth and largemouth, but this lake is also known for its muskie, so hopefully we can bag one of them. Get your notebooks out for this one because Brad really loves to share his knowledge. It's going to be another great show, folks, so stay with us. We'll be right back. On today's show, the new Fly Fisher crew is in northwestern Ontario visiting Nielsen's Fly In Lodge on Rowan Lake. Joining me today is Don Persh, owner of Nielsen's Fly In Lodge and guest co-host Brad Bowen, a professional guide from Wisconsin. Lake Rowan boasts excellent lake trout fishing, northern pike, muskie, walleye, and bass. Many largemouth in the six pound area have been taken. We are here in pre-spawn and the fish are just making their way into shallower water. We will have to experiment to find out what technique will be successful. There had been a number of cold fronts that had passed through the area in the previous few days, and frankly, that worried us. Generally, when the skies are blue after a cold front, fishing gets tough. For the first part of the morning, this held true. But then, the weather had been steady long enough for the fish to turn on again, and it was magical. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, there's a bass. Got in the weeds. Felt heavier. Come on. Trying to get out there, all right. That's another large mouth. Don Persh. He's putting us on the tough bite up here at Rowan. Beautiful lake. Cold front conditions and we've adjusted our, our methods here. You can see we've got a, we've got a lead, lead eyed fly we went to. Slowed everything down today. Not a big bass, but nonetheless, that's what we're looking for. What a, they are beautiful. Just pristine looking fish. <laughs> we got a double. All right. Yeah. Got her back into the, the rocks and area. What do you got? It looks like a bass. A little Don't better. Know if it's a larger or smallmouth yet. A little better fish. Yeah, not bigger a bad, color. Not a bad one at all. That's better. Looks like a largemouth. Yep. Yep. Now we've had to up our fly selection to a much larger size. Let's get her up and have a look at him. That's a little better fish. A little better. Nice largemouth. But nope. we've had to go with a much larger profile. They don't want anything small, and they want it deeper. Uh, the cold front has driven them down deep. They're not coming up at all. So you gotta be versatile. And away he goes. Well, it's picking up. The temperature is actually getting a little bit warmer. I think that's helping us out here. Uh, this morning when it was cold, nothing. Not a, not a nibble, nothing. So we're gonna continue with what we're doing experimentation with the uh, with retrieves and and fly sizes and see if that works the best time to be here for bass is probably from early june through the month of J july and august once they set up a summer pattern um, if you're talking smallmouth bass they're in deeper water they're shallow in june um, largemouth bass are are, are in the deep weeds um, in uh, june and july well, the best time of the year to be here for muskie is, uh, in my opinion, the muskie season opens the third Saturday of June here in Northwest Ontario. But the prime time for people who enjoy casting for them is absolutely from the middle of July through the month of August. better. 
Yes. It looks a little larger, actually. Yeah, it's a, it looks like another large mouth here. Oh, Give very. Me a good, good battle there. Active. Not quite, about like the one last fish we got. We got a little bit well, of an that's, activity that's going. Oh, that's a good fish. Yep. Oh, yeah. Things are picking up on Rowan Lake here. Our guide, Don, has said that we've had a about a 10 degree drop in water temperature here in the last day and a half, and we've had to adjust everything down. Ooh, that one's got a fat. Yeah, look at how fat that fat one is. Fat belly, look at it, very healthy. Come into a nice little scenario here. Getting some active large mouths. We've brought, we've experimented all day with patterns and retrieve speeds, and we're starting to get a little bit of a situation here where the fish are getting active. We're approaching the noon hour. Uh, it's gotten warmer temperature-wise, and uh, fish are starting to respond. They're adjusting accordingly, but we're having some fun. Look at that, nice, healthy bass. Nielsen's Lodge has 12 very comfortable, ultra-clean cabins with full linens. A beautiful log lodge and a dining room provide you with excellent food service twice a day, with your third meal being a box lunch to take with you on your fishing adventure. The main lodge can also provide you with extra ice making, a freezer, and tackle. There's only one way into the lodge, and that's by plane. Nielsen's is a very family-friendly lodge that caters to the novice, but can also provide the best in fishing for the hardcore trophy fishermen. There's a lot of wondering that goes on in this game of fly fishing, and as you start to get some rewards, your fishing becomes a little more active, and it, it helps all the mental processes that go into this. All right. You're, in, you're right in the, in the grass, aren't you? Yep. They're starting, to, they're starting to move up here on us, the little folks. Another nice Rowan Lake largemouth. Their take, the takes are becoming more aggressive now. I had a little, I've, I've upped my retrieve a bit here now, Bill. So a little bit faster. A little faster, you know, more of a swim bait rather than the jig style take. And so these, these fish are start. before we were having to put it right down, literally just put it right down in their face and, and, and hold it there. Now they're starting to, they're moving up and we've adjusted again now. Nice fat largemouth again. Look at these beautiful largemouth bass. Rowan Lake, Ontario, Nielsen's. Flying Lodge. Excellent. A lot of times when you're fishing in that wind, if you don't have a, any kind of stripping basket, your line can blow over the boat. So what you do is you coil three or four poles and just drop it. That'll help keep it from blowing out of the boat. You don't want it going outside the boat. That's never a good thing. But yeah, you pull it in and drop it and it'll all go down right next to your feet and it won't blow all around. If you're just stripping like this, that wind will pick it up and next thing you know, you got all your lines sitting outside the boat. Believe me, not a good thing. So bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, drop it. And it'll go right down to the ground. It'll save you a lot of hassle. Hot tip of the day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is it fighting? Yes. Don't know. It might be might have grabbed it and went behind a log or something. Bring us over there and see what happens. That's a crazy bend. That is. It's a big. It's big. I don't know if it's pike or musky. Went right down in the weeds. <clears throat> Woo, yeah. It's a pike, it's a good sized pike. But look at all the grass. <laughs> wow. He was hooked, yeah. Just show him to the camera there and then we can release him. 
Well, he, he fought bigger than he really is. Away he goes. <laughs> that was terrific. <laughs> good fish, good fish. And hit way out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, just like a freight train hit it, and then went right in the weeds. And so it, it, I didn't know what to do. We just moved the boat back over top. And I lifted up and the fish moved. That's what you got to do. <laughs> Rowan Lake is a remarkable fishery. It's very remote and it's very challenging. An angler needs to come prepared to fend for themselves because there's no tackle shop nearby. On this trip we found fish everywhere from top to bottom. We've got rock, we've got weed, and we've got woody cover that we need to work around. We found on this trip that we were able to bring fish up to the top. There's a lot of frogs and amphibians around here. So poppers ranging from small all the way up to large are important. There's a ton of bait fish, everything from shiner minnows to small perch. So streamer flies, especially bucktails, are very, very important. A lot of crustaceans and a lot of burrowing mayflies also inhabit this lake. Be prepared to go deep for those as well. Something that'll get you down in that water column, down to the bottom. So think about top, middle, and bottom, and you're gonna be a well-prepared bass angler when you visit Rowan. Fish on, yes, sir. First yes. pass. Nice. Nice one. Yeah, looks feels like a good one. Scotty's McFly. I've used it many shows before. It's a go-getter. Oh yeah, nice one. Good one. Yeah. Large mouth. Fighting hard, they, they hit you in the weeds, so that puts extra weight on there for you. Oh yeah, very good fish. Very good fish. I'm liking this. That is uh, at least 18. Go right up the middle of my arm. Beautiful fish. Bro. Beautiful fish. We have all types of uh, fish in this lake, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. Northern pike, walleyes, great lake trout fishing. The lake is known for its lake trout fishing and tremendous musky fishing. We have all five species here. We have giant perch, but nobody fishes for them. Fishing out of a boat, there's some things you have to keep in mind, all right? We're, we're going ahead here with the trolling motor. The boat is moving us forward. We want to cast ahead a little bit. Using an intermediate line, I need to get down deep. And instead of having that fly swing high, it gives me a time to drop the fly into the zone, which is really critical. So little things like that, you adjust, and that's how you get your results. Right behind it. Fish on. Oh, wow, are they active in here. What's the water temp? I bet it's a little higher in here, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's got these fish. We can see them coming up for it, and they're just tracking that fly. And uh, this is another nice fish. Beautiful back black bass. We've been looking for this. Our fearless leader here has been, look, there's another one with it. Yeah. Right below it, a bigger fish. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Big. Well, anyway, we have, uh, we have gotten to a point where we have uh, some very nice conditions. Um, Don has been working overtime with us to dial in a bite situation and coming through we came through a little channel into a lost part of the lake and immediately upon coming out of that channel there is a huge pot of bait fish and that's always a good sign um here's what the results are oh fish on <laughs> 
Fish on. We're getting them all over the place here. The yeah. black bass are on Lost Bay, Northwest Ontario. Boy, are they just hammering it. Yes, they are. Just hammering it. That is a quality yeah. bass. Look at that. And he inhaled that whole thing. I can't get over that. Right time, right place, right fly. Yeah, ab absolutely. Huh? Now, what we've had to do, at least with me, is, is a bigger profile and something that'll go deeper. I wasn't doing anything with a the, with the lighter fly and smaller profile, so. It's all about the depth and the speed control and then getting the right amount of meal for them to punch their ticket. Get my thumb in there, oh yeah. Now, how do you like that? Just hammering this, hammered it. Oh. Northwestern Ontario, one of the best places around to fish. Let's get him back in the water. You know, if you're, if you're talking fish on. Fish on. These are, we've got a bass pen here and they are <laughs> on. I'm Whoa. releasing one. <laughs> All right, well. Yeah. Get a little warmer and away the fish goes. This is, this is absolutely great. Absolutely great. The water had warmed sufficiently, so we decided to go after some of the legendary muskie in Rowan Lake. There's, there's, a, there's a big one right there, right I behind see, it. I seen the mouth. Seen right the there, mouth. right there. Look at that. Look yeah, at it. Right behind it. Big fish. There he is, yep. Yeah, it's getting, it's, it's, it's getting, likes that turn. Likes the turn. I see how she's underneath, yeah. Oh, I have to put it off. She's still down there. Polarizer on that lens, I'm assuming. Yeah. All right, we got our first shopper of the day. That's fun. Gets the heart rate up. We got a good coach here, and uh, probably got to be on it a little sooner with some aggressive fly work, but we got that fish to change attitude a little bit and uh, it's early in the day I heart's beating here musky hunting can be a pretty daunting task showing up on new water and what I like to look for is opportunity and opportunity is finding those predators as they're hunting the edges look for things that transition deep water to shallow water rocky water to sandy or mud bottom water weeds to no weeds those are really key things to wrap your head around. Keep your eyes peeled. Look for other creatures. Um, turns, gulls, uh, bait fish that are dimpling in the surface. Those are all clues to what these critters are doing. And they don't have to be completely perplexing if we allow ourselves the time to think and hunt like a predator. Oh, 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 look at this, 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 right here, right here. Look at that. Look at that fish. There's a good one right there. Don't be lazy. Did she leave? No, she's sitting down here. Here she comes. Here she comes. I'm gonna change depths here. Here she comes. 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 Nope. She's still down there though. Fish. Fish oh, oh. That one she didn't, she just turned away. Oh, I'm shaking. I am, I'm shaking like a little kid. Well, our time here at Nielsen's Fly and Lodge is over. Don, thanks for having us. You're it's welcome. been a great time. You're welcome. Great time. Brad, the bass fishing was outstanding, wasn't it? 
But the musky fishing, even though I wasn't able to hook up, that has got to be the most heart-pounding, exciting experience I've ever had. Hey, thank you for showing us this great place called Rowan. It was really, really special. You guys are welcome in my boat anytime. Bill, it was my pleasure. It, it was, was great. Pleasure. It was Thanks great. For having Fish me. with you anytime, buddy. Fish oh, with you anytime. I hope too. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick from The New Fly Fisher Television Show. If you enjoyed that video, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Also, we're uploading new videos all the time, so hit the bell to be notified when the next one goes up.